Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm in a different spot today. I'm actually in my kitchen, sat on the kitchen floor. Really unusual spot to be sat in to do a video, but I wanted to show you how I organise under my sink in the kitchen. So I thought I might as well start the video here because this is where the whole video is going to be filmed. So I just thought I would show you today. It's fairly organised. Recently I've had to do a reorganisation of it because I had it organised quite a while ago and as things happen it all gets disorganised doesn't it so I've had to reevaluate it and change some things around so I thought I'd show you how I'm organising it at the moment thankfully I have kind of two cupboards so it's quite a big space um, often people only have the one cupboard and that is quite a difficult space to deal with because there's a lot of things that you do need to store under your sink today I'm not going to show you up on the top area how I organise that because be honest with you it's a bit of a mess it's actually not that bad but there's a few dishes there and there's a few bits that I still need to finish off just to make it look a bit nicer and a bit more organized so I'm not going to show you that today so I'm going to get straight in rather than me waffling on and just show you how I organize my cupboard I apologize if the lighting isn't great I wanted to film this a bit earlier in the day but things haven't worked out that way so I'm filming it late afternoon um, I'm just gonna do the best I can in the lighting that we have at the moment so this is the left hand side of the cupboard i'll start over here here on the door and i'll just bring you around so you can see that a bit better so on the door i have one of these utensil bars that you get from ikea i have one on each door and they're really useful for hanging all your spray bottles and it keeps it all organized and you're not rummaging around a basket or the bottom of the cupboard to find what spray you want i'm trying to reduce the amount of spray bottles i have because i seem to have so many i don't know about anyone else but i do get drawn into new cleaning products so i'm trying to reduce it at the moment so i don't have to use quite so many um, i'll quickly show you what i have up here just so, in case you're interested i have this one from tesco's eco active i got this recently and i do actually really like it i was getting the method um, cleaner so that it was a bit safer around children and I saw this one in Tesco's and it was cheaper so I thought I'd give it a go and I really like it it smells nice it's the pink grapefruit pink grapefruit scent and uh, it says it's cut through cuts through grease and grime plant-based non-toxic ingredients so I really like it and it is cheaper than the method next up I just have a spray bottle I recently bought on eBay and in there is Sephora. I'm going to tag that up actually so that we do know. I know what it is but so that my husband knows what that is. I, I did have it in another bottle but I just recently bought this so I thought it looked a bit nicer rather than an old spray bottle. Next up I have a Tesco Antibac but actually in there I think it's Dettol. It's just the bottle that I'm using and I've got a large bottle of Dettol which I'll show you in a moment that I top that up with but I think I might get rid of this one eventually once that Dettol's run out because I can't see what difference is between this and the Sephora and I just feel like I don't need to have both so I will probably just stick with the Sephora for now and um, once the antibacterial the, the Dettol has run out. Next up I have Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. This I use on all the chrome, um, stainless steel, like the, the sink, the fridge freezer and it is really nice for using on there i think you, you can use it on glass as well uh, it's got many things that you can use it on but yeah yeah it does say glass and mirrors so yeah it's really good and that was relatively cheap as well next i have a Dettol, but this is a mold and mildew remover i'm not going to repurchase this because i prefer the silic bang um, for re removing any mold in the bathroom and this is where i use it in the bathroom so i'm just getting rid of this using it up and then that bottle will go and then next up I have my silic bang and this is black mold remover we do get some dampness in the bathroom and sometimes in our bedrooms just around the window where there's a lot of moisture it is an old house so we just to keep on top of that we use this at maybe once a month once every six weeks and it helps keep that at bay and lastly I have Mr Muscle window and glass cleaner. I think I might eventually get rid of this because I use the flora on my windows and there's no point using this or keeping this as well if I'm using the flora on the windows. Um, so yeah, probably will. Once that's run out, 
that I won't re repurchase that. But it, I find that having the bar there is really useful. It means I can get to any of the bottles really quickly. And what I do is I put the bottles I need into my basket that goes upstairs with me or elsewhere in the house. And then I can just quickly put them back at the end of my cleaning session. Next up on the left hand side of the cupboard, inside the cupboard, I have two baskets. The blue one at the back is the one that I use to take all my cleaning products upstairs. Um, so it's really useful, it's got handles and it's quite a good size. It wasn't specifically a cleaning caddy, I got this from Pound Stretcher. I think it's just a normal basket to use however you want to use it. I actually bought one for my son's food, toy food for his bedroom and I really liked it so I bought another one or bought two more for under the sink. These handles are quite sturdy so they're really good for carrying quite a few cleaning products upstairs. But I just store in there all my bathroom cleaning products. So all the cloths that I use in the bathroom and my rubber gloves that I use in the bathroom and toothbrushes for cleaning around the kind of sink area and the taps and I don't use these very often but some disposable gloves in case I want to use those they just sit in there and then I've got plenty of space in that basket to add any other cleaning products and cloths that I need I don't keep any other cleaning products in there because I find it easier this way that means that if I need to clean something I don't have to go in the basket to get that one cleaning product out if I'm just going to clean the kitchen bench or the dining table or whatever it is I'm cleaning I might not be doing a full clean I might just be doing a quick tidy up and I don't want to be rummaging around this basket in order to get those cleaning products which is why I have them hanging up um, so that just sits at the back and it's fine to have it at the back because I can just pull out this basket really easily to grab it because I generally only do a big clean once a week and then I do kind of spot cleans throughout the week the basket at the front and I, I had wanted to get the same colour basket, but I couldn't because when I went back they didn't have the second of the blue one, so I just ended up getting an orange one. But I actually don't mind, it keeps it separate, it means that I know that the one at the back is for my cleaning products when I do a clean, and the one at the front is for all my laundry stuff. So this houses all my laundry items. I have some colour catches in there, and tumble dryer sheets if I use them, don't always use those. Stain remover, I've got a bottle of Seflora, I use this in the laundry when I'm putting a load on. I've got some wash bags in there, I've got quite a few, I use these for delicate items or bras or any other delicate items and I also have some bigger ones stored in here that I can put toys in so if I want to put the boys bath toys in or their blocks in I can put them in the bag and it's easier to pop them into the machine and out of the machine if they're in the bag and lastly I have my tumble dryer bowls I put these in when I'm doing a load in the tumble dryer it's meant to reduce the length of time it takes to do the load so it will reduce the cost I'm not sure if it works or not because my tumble dryer is in the garage and I can't time it because I don't know when it finishes but I got them hoping that they did work um, and I put those in when I do a load in the tumble dryer. This cupboard is clean, but it's not the prettiest of looking, so you have to excuse that. It probably could do with a bit of a touch up, but it's just my under sink cupboard. And there are plenty of other things that we need to be doing at the moment around the house. So it's not top priority. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can see this, we have some problem going on here. This is just where some dampness has got in and the wood has expanded, but it's fine. So next up I have some freestanding products. These are big bottles that won't fit in the baskets or the drawers. Um, I'll just go through each one and show you what we have. At the back there I have a bottle of bubble solution. This is so that the boys can have bubbles and I don't have to keep buying fresh little tubs of bubbles. Like bubbles. I just top up their little tubs with this. It's just like a pound from... Tesco, or well, this one's from Tesco's, but I think, think you can get it from Primark as well. Next up, I have a plunger for the toilet. That just sits down here because obviously we're not using it all the time and we don't have anywhere in the bathroom to keep that. So I'd much rather have it under the sink where it's not in sight. Next up, I have some oven pride. 
for cleaning the oven. It just sits in there. And then I have two bottles of washing up liquids. I like to stock up so that I've got plenty. Um, I'll probably use those and then once I get down to the last bottle, I'll get some more. I don't always have three in stock. I've got another one just to the side here, um, but I just like to stock up when I can. If I bring you around the other side now. At the back, I had this plant pot. There's another plant pot inside as well and a jug. The jug is for watering any plants I have in the house. I don't know that I have many in the house at the moment that needs watering and I'm not using this at the moment. So I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not, but at the moment it just sits at the back of the cupboard here. I then have a big bottle of bleach and this is just Tesco's cheap lemon bleach. Upstairs I have a bottle for the toilet bleach that's easy to put by the rim of the toilet but I fill it up with this so I get a big bottle of this which is a lot cheaper than buying individual bottles for cleaning the toilet but I find it easier than pouring this down the toilet. Um, it's just a little bit cheaper and I just store the big bottle in here. Then this is the Dettol that I'm using up. I got it on offer so I bought quite a bit. I've got, I think I've got two bottles, I've got another bottle I think to go through unless this is, this is the last bottle possibly and so once this is all gone I won't repurchase it and then I've just got another bottle of washing up liquid I like to keep it in the bottom of the cupboard here and I have a soap dispenser on the kitchen counter that I fill up on the right hand door I also have another of these utensil bars that I got from Ikea and I'm not really using this one as much anymore. I do have my washing up gloves that I use if I'm doing dishes. I don't use them very often to be honest with you but I know that they are for the dishes whereas the other ones in the basket are for the bathroom. And then I have a bottle brush that just hangs on the inside of the door here and a spare bottle. I've got no use for that at the moment but it was by to get one free and I needed one for my hair and then the one for Sephora so I've got another one. I could always make up two Sephora's in two different scents if I wanted to. And then there's nothing else on this bar at the moment but I'm thinking of, and I haven't done it yet obviously, but I'm thinking of possibly attaching this basket somehow either on the top or from the bar and then putting my dish sponge and brushes in there so that they're not on top of the counter and then they can just sit inside the cupboard rather than cluttering up my counter so that's a possibility i was going to cable tie it onto the bar but i couldn't find cable ties and it might not work out very well so i'm going to leave that till keith my husband comes home and i'll ask him how to attach it um i could always like somehow do it on straight onto the cupboard Something, but that's kind of my idea to have some kind of basket here um, to house those items that are on my kitchen counter. Then I've got a set of drawers. These have got four drawers. They're just plastic. They're relatively cheap. We only have two drawers in this kitchen, one for the cutlery and one for my foil and baking paper, those kind of things. So I needed some more space for items. You know, you can't really get away with just two drawers in a kitchen. So I bought these to go underneath the sink and they do work really well. They are a bit cheap and I find them really hard to, once pulled out, I can't get them to go back in again, but that's fine. It's under the sink and I, and I don't see it. So I have these organized pretty well now. If I just go through each one. So the bottom one here has mostly floor items in it. So it's got my spare mop head um, to go on my spray mop. Then a spare items attachment for my vacuum cleaner. There's nowhere to put them on the vacuum cleaner or with the vacuum cleaner. So they're just in here. So I've got that one there and I've got this one. Then some of the items which I didn't know where else to put. I've got some Brillo pads. There's not many left in that packet actually and they didn't fit in the drawer above which is where I would normally keep them so they're just in here because I had plenty of space in there and then this is an attachment for the hose if I want to attach the hose to the kitchen sink so it just sits in here because it's obviously being used in the kitchen and not outside with the hose so it just sits in there because again we have plenty of space in this bottom drawer so as you can see that's really difficult to close it doesn't automatically close you kind of have to lift it 
kind of have to lift it and kind of align it again. This is a bit awkward, but I don't mind too much. The next drawer is all cleaning items. So in there I have the flora, or some spare sephora, and some kind of scours. A couple of those. This Astonish oven and cookware cleaner. This is really good. I got it from the pound shop and it's cleaned our oven really well and it's cleaned some cookware which had some stubborn stains on that weren't coming off and I thought they were just stains and that was it but we've used this on it and it's come up really nicely so that's really good. I've just purchased this today and it's washing machine cleaner and I think I might pop that in the laundry basket that I've got in the cupboard here because it's probably more um, appropriate in there. Next up I have a Dettol all-in-one disinfectant spray. This is really good for cleaning kind of spraying on like, your sofa or your bin if you need to clean some stuff up. Um, we've got a toddler who is potty training at the moment so this has been really useful. And I've got some carpet cleaner in there. A couple of like wipe things. I don't use these very often now so I've just got some left over. And then these are my, oops, these are my magic eraser sponges. Next drawer up are all spare products. So I've got some spare colour catchers. Rather than keeping them in the laundry basket, I can just keep them in here. And these are all for my eco egg, little pearls that go in the eco egg. And then some other things that I don't know why they're in here, but hand cream, hand sanitizer, and a little bubbles bottle that's actually it's nearly empty. Not sure why they're in that basket, that box, but there's nowhere else to put them, so that's fine. And then the top drawer are mainly all shoe items. I've got this chamois cloth, which is for the car, which I had nowhere else to put it. Everything else in there is for using on your shoes. So that's how I organise under my sink. There are some items like dishcloths and tea towels that I used to store under the sink but are now stored in my new pantry. I will be doing a tour of the pantry at some point but there are still some things that need organising. We're storing some things in there that eventually won't be stored in there but I'm waiting on things to be finished elsewhere in the house. I do plan to do that for you. I was going to do a how we created the plant pantry and I was filming some little clips on the different stages but unfortunately recently I lost every photo and video well every photo from the last 18 months and a little bit longer and every video pretty much that I've ever filmed um, it was all stored on my hard drive and the hard drive dropped so lesson learned I now need to store things in multiple places and I already knew that and I was in the process of organising that when it happened but unfortunately those clips have currently been lost. I am hoping that we will get them back. We need to send the hard drive off to someone to see if they can get them off but we have tried two people so far and so far we've not been able to get very much. Unfortunately um, it is just the way it is which is just so sad. There's been a lot of tears uh, anyway, I will do a tour, um, whether I will be able to do a video of how we created the pantry, I'm not sure because I'll have no clips on the different stages of the of creating it. There will be a tour of the pantry and that's where I store my dishcloths and tea towels now. Anyway, that's how I organise under my sink. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.